Yo, yo, what's good, what's good? Charleston White, we back again. Say, man, what's up, man? You the first nigga put me out there. Give me the platform. Nah, for sure, bro. I appreciate you for, you know, every platform I see you do an interview with, you always mention Dallas Global. Yeah. You always shout us out for being the first platform to put you on the uh, platform, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I appreciate it, bro. Uh, like, probably, uh, probably one of the most mature uh, professional uh, young bloggers that I've encountered over the last 18 months. Uh, so, yeah, I ain't heard your name. You, you, you uh, you 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 doing what, what what you're supposed to do with a camera, uh, and you you ain't getting caught up into wanting to come from behind the camera and get in front of it, homie. So yeah, I, I admire that about you. Nah, for sure, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Now, bro, you've been I ain't gonna lie, bro, you've been going crazy the last couple months. You know, even since the last time I interviewed you, you know what I'm saying? You went to Vlad TV. Yeah. You done did a, a bunch of say cheese TV interviews. You going viral? I see you every time I open up my app, man. Yeah. Now, was that your game plan from the jump? Uh, nah, homie, uh, I ain't, I ain't had no game plan. Uh, I got thrust in, in, into this, right? You know, with the viral video on World Star Hip Hop saying, you know, the snitch video. Right. Uh, my, my only, uh, my only, only thing I wanted out of this was a monetized YouTube channel. Uh, the rest was added. Uh, you know, as you heard, I got three movie deals, uh, two for show. I got this podcast. Uh, you know, now I'm somewhat branded, uh, so I got my own T-shirts, the Texas nigga line. Right. Uh, so now talk about your podcast, man. I hear it's doing pretty good, like on the podcasting side, like you top five in, yeah. the, in the region. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, how you know, how like how do you feel like you people relate to you, to what y'all talking about? Uh, well, the, the real me is on the podcast, right? Okay. So the real Charleston White. Uh, that's that's me on the podcast. So so rather than than, than getting celebrities. Uh, we're getting ordinary people, uh, ordinary men and, and women. We're getting politicians. We're getting attorneys, uh, and we sitting them down and, and, and getting the the backstory of, of who they are and, and how they became the person uh, or became in the title or the position that they are today. So we get the backstory, the life story, uh, and it seems to be relatable to the you know the average everyday person, uh, as well as you know the average American citizen that's listening to the podcast. Right, 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 right. Now, you get a lot of flack online, bro. You yeah, I get a whole bunch of them. Now, how do you, like, do you go through your comments and, and read them all and then pick and choose who you go respond to, or does it just be like, what? Like, uh, I any, many, many more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I any, many, many more, little motherfucker. There's too many, homie. Yeah. Uh, I, get, I get a lot of messages, I get a lot of DMs, so I any, many, many more the comments. Uh, and then, so the comments give me content. Uh, the comments give me fuel. Uh, the comments helped me be uh, as as erratic and 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 and, and provoking and, and insulting uh, as I need to be online because the audience online is 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 insulting, uh, is is provoking, uh, is rude and mean. So I take all they give to me, and then I just reflect it right back, and I'm good at it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm real good at it. <laughs> nah, for sure, for sure. Now, a lot of people would like to say, you know what I'm saying, you only target, like, black people. Oh, uh, nah, you, nigga, I got, I, I done talked about everybody. Nigga, white folks, uh, I done bragged about raping white girls, killing white people, uh, Pepperwood, this. Uh, I done talked about white school shooting with the white kids. Uh, uh, I done talked about the, the Muslims, uh, the Arab Muslims over there in the country. Uh, I done talked about the LGBTK community. Uh, I done talked about the Asians. Uh, I done talked about single women. I done talked about single daddies. I done talked about niggas who, who take Viagra and Cialis and the over-the-counter dick hard medicine. Uh, man, I done talked about everybody. You can't miss me, nigga. Nah, right, right. Why do you think you get such a negative response from the black community? Uh, because I'm uh, because the black community hate the truth, and, and the black community hate for them to, for you to tell them the truth. Uh, yeah, there's one thing about the black community. They don't want the truth. They want a comfortable lie. And I show up to the internet with some harsh, brutal truth, talking like I don't do no wrong. See, that's what get black. That's what many people are mad about because I talk like I don't do no wrong, and they can't find no wrong on me. Right. So that's why I talk like I don't do no wrong. See, yeah, and they can't catch me doing wrong. And I talk like I'm a bad motherfucker. And in my mind, I'm a bad motherfucker. And they don't have no video 
to prove me otherwise. So they want something to assassinate my character, and they can't find nothing, huh? So they much rather hurt me now. Nah, facts. And they can't do that either. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. You really piss a lot of people off. Bro. Yeah, I try to. I wake up every day with my dick hard in the motherfucker trying to piss a motherfucker off. I'm talking about I come on myself every time a nigga call me and say, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You can't fly her up. And say, I got so many stains in my drawers from just coming throughout the day. Motherfucker, shit, I ain't bullshit. I love this Man, you shit. You crazy, bro. <laughs>